Hi, good evening to everyone. Um, welcome to the last class uh, corresponding for um, this course. Uh, guys, uh, well, as you know, and probably you have received a, a, um, a message from the staff of English Corporativo. Um, and, and I want to start with that because um, I need to tell you uh, before going through the, the class that um, it is so important for you uh, to finish uh, the model if you haven't uh, for today, okay? So uh, basically because uh, we need 80% of, you know, um, in order to, to get the diploma and, and certification in order to go to the next level. So uh, basically that, right? Um, I, I guess everybody here uh, has already complete um, all the exercises in the platform, at least the 80%. Just, I, I've been checking uh, if one of you have been working on it or not, but, uh, well, it's mandatory to, to um, share this information to you if you haven't completed yet. Okay, um, after that, uh, we're going to move, uh, if you remember yesterday, uh, we were discussing a, a topic in, in, in the unit, I mean, in this uh, section number five. And um, <clears throat> well, there were discussing about uh, the years and, and short responses, uh, but we're going to start right now. So after going, after, I mean, before going to <clears throat> um, discuss more about that topic, we're going to start with a quote. And I want your participation for a tonight's session, okay? I want your participation um, as a volunteer in order to discuss about this. Um, as I said before, so we're gonna be uh, just checking out what, <clears throat> and you're gonna be reflecting on it, okay? So let me just share my screen. Uh, have you ever listened this, um, this this quote before? This one? Have you, have you ever listened to this? Yes, no? Yes, yes. Yes, you, okay. Um, if, if you never tried, you will never know. <clears throat> so, but tell me, what does it mean for you? <clears throat> okay, Maximo? What si does nunca, si no lo intentas, si nunca lo intentas. No, no. What I mean is, is um, we're gonna wanna reflect on it, right? Not, not the Spanish meaning, because that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, what I want you, what I want you uh, to uh, provide is how you can apply this in your life. Like how. Ok, lo, lo que quiero decir es que no, no nos enfoquemos que, qué significa en español, ¿sí? Sino este, eh, si alguna vez, este, una reflexión en sí, sí, en este caso, ¿alguna vez han, han, han vivido ustedes alguna situación en la que, este, muy probablemente pudieran haber dicho, ah, si lo hubiese intentado, ¿sí? No sé si me voy a entender. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So, Maximo, have you ever when, been in a situation like that? When I decide mm -hmm. my career, mm -hmm. I, I, mm, I, I could. To become a engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. Only. 
Okay, only that. Fine. Okay, good. Thank you. Anyone else? Miley? Miley, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no, just uh, let, let's try with this quote here. Um, it says, if you never try, you will never know. What does it mean for you? Have you lived an experience where you can say like, oh my God, if I just would try this, I would get something like that? <laughs> uh, well, maybe it can be a, in my case, I can, uh, I can tell you the, it was when I was um, trying to drive. Mm -hmm. oh. drive. I'm sorry, trying to drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband uh, always uh, told me that if I if I'm not, if I'm never tried, uh, I don't know. Maybe um, um, no, it was not possible to learn. I don't know. Yes, like, if you never tried, you will never learn. We, we can uh -huh. change like, uh -huh. like, like yes. the word instead of no, you will never learn. So, that's right. and, and that's right. So, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes we, we can see, guys, um, that some things uh, for, from our point of view are so difficult. Because um, that, that's something that happened to me when I was uh, deciding for my career. And, and I was, uh, oh my God, English. So in that moment, uh, let, let's talk about year in 2013, uh, when I was studying in, in, in the um, bachillerato, so high school, you can say that. So uh, I was trying to look for it, uh, something that I like. But, but I was decided to study uh, English uh, at that moment. I was like, oh my God, what I'm going to do? So I didn't know anything because my teachers in, in high school didn't know anything too, so I didn't learn anything there. Uh, and I was like, uh, what I'm going to do? But I want to learn uh, English. I want to study a career related to this, uh, to this area. And, and, and I was like with fear, to, um, thinking, uh, my God, so what if I fail? So, but when I get into the university, when I start studying uh, the, the, the bachelor degree, uh, I could see a, a lot of opportunities there because, um, I saw that English, in that moment, I saw that English, it was just about practice. It was just about uh, getting bored with uh, people that uh, speak English, right? So in order to practice. But um, in that moment, for, I, I, I know that I was like, oh, I want, but I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. If I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that um, that career. So basically, that right. Uh, it is a short quote here that it says, "If you never try, you will never know." Uh, it's like uh, if you don't taste something, you will never know how it tastes. So something like that, right? Um, Let's see just the last participation here. Uh, I want to listen to um, Rodrigo. Have you ever experienced something like this? Like if you never try, you will never know. Rodrigo? Any volunteer who wants to participate, Rosemary, for instance? Mm, okay, good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, if I have tried everything, it will be better in my life. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Just that. <laughs> Just that. Okay, good. Good. So, guys, uh, we're going to move on right now. So, uh, let me just skip this. Uh, I'm going to minimize this. Give me just one moment. I guess I'm having prof. Well, I'm having problems with my computer. Um, no, no, no. This is no the platform that I want. This is the the one that I want. Okay. Um, <laughs> take a look here, guys. Um. Uh, to the, oh my God. One moment. <laughs> okay, take a look here in um, modeled uh, in, so intermediate English level two. Um, in the last part that it says, I don't know what, you know, on weekends, uh, if you remember yesterday, we were just discussing about the, uh, then release and release uh, sounds for uh, the ones, uh, the, the words that can, I mean, the sounds that we can uh, just link with another uh, consonant or vowel that we saw yesterday. So, and also we're discussing uh, about these short um, responses and also gerunds. Um, now we're going to move on and we're going to see uh, the topic personality traits and we're going to watch a video. Uh, this is going to be related to vocabulary um, about personality traits. Um, we wanna watch this video then we're gonna be discussing about the uh, words we're going to find there. And then we're going to move on to this part, the clauses with because. Because this is uh, going to be the last topic that we're gonna be working on uh, before going to the final text. Okay, so pay attention, please. Positive, which are negative. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. Critical disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Okay, stop there. Wanna, wanna uh, just work on this exercise, okay? Just take a look here. Uh, there we have a list of different words that are, you know, personality traits, but um, we need to identify which is positive um, and which is negative, okay? So what do you think about creative? Is it positive or is it negative? Creative, I mean. Positive. Is it positive trait? What about critical? Negative. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let me check. Rosemary? Sí. The next word? Mm, political. No, the, ne the next one. Negative. It's going to be negative. We're going to do something because I, I want you to practice the pronunciation of this word. We're going to do something in order to complete this activity. Okay. So um, okay. I will be, I will be, uh, uh, well, you're going to be uh, just selecting one of those words and you're going to say it. For instance, but tempered is a positive personality. Trait. Oh, bad temper is a negative personality trait. You're gonna say the, the whole sentence in order to practice our pronunciation and uh, also in order to identify and complete the, um, the, the activity that we have here. Okay, because I don't want to be like uh, telling you the words because what I want you, what I want is you to practice. Okay, 
So let's see, Carla. Can you please complete the the uh, the next one? Okay. Mm, efficient. Mm. Is positive personality traits? Trait is a positive personality trait. Okay. Um, let's let's see. Um, um, Brian, next one. Brian, Alicia Guadalupe. Yes, oh, critical. No, the ones that is after uh, efficient. What? The next one after their efficient or efficient. Efficient. Oh, for helpful. Mm -hmm. Is negative. It's negative. So we need to complete the sentence. Like efficient is a positive, okay, personality trait. So forgetful. Oh, uh, repeat, teacher, please. We wanna, we wanna say like efficient is a positive personality trait. So forgetful. Is negative personality trait temperate? No, just trait. Okay, forgetful is a negative personality trait. So we have to answer uh, each one, uh, completing that sentence. Let's continue with uh, Jose Luis. Okay, uh, generous. Is positive personality trait. Okay, good. Uh, Ronald. Okay. Uh, Hardworking is a positive personality trait. Okay. Um, let me just check, take a look. Miguel. Miguel Angel. Nancy Maldonado. Impression is negative personality traits. Okay, good. Um, let me see. Nancy. Good evening. Hi. Level health is a negative personality traits okay good oscar hello teacher okay hello oscar so the next one What what word? Uh, the the next after level head or oh, level head. Um, I, I, a negative. But you need, you need to complete the, the whole sentence. Like impatience is a negative personality trait. So you have to say the word plus the complement. Like moody is sorry, perdón, teacher, me, me, me... no se preocupe. Lo que debemos hacer es 
me distraje, teacher, perdonen, perdonen. No, no, no se preocupe. Este, lo que debemos hacer es mencionar la palabra y complementarlo con lo que le este, estoy diciendo yo. Simplemente es agregar si es positivo o si es negativo, más la palabra, la frase, perdón, personality traits. Es como decir, este, impaciente es... Eh, este es positivo, es una uh, personalidad positiva o negativa, ¿sí? Pero en inglés. So, personality traits. So, Moody is a negative personality trait. That's what the only thing that we're going to say, right? So, the, the next Moody one. Is a, the Moody no, is a... I'm going to say the, the next one because I already said Moody... <laughs> <laughs> the next one, puntual. Puntual. The personally, as in, sí? puntual is a um, positive mm -hmm. person. No. Personality? Personality, trait, trait. Yes, the correct. <laughs> correct. Okay, uh, Miley, the next one. Hola, hola, hola. Okay. I'm being proposed and now I'm sorry. Uh, what is the next? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the, the, next one, uh, the next is uh, the ones that is after puntual. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, puntual. No, it's, the next uh, one. Oh. Reliable. Yes. I don't remember what is the meaning of, but I don't know if uh, if is it um negative or because I've never seen that word. But reliable, uh, I think that is is positive. Just reliable, it's a positive personality trait. Okay, good. Yes, it, it is positive. Reliable. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. okay uh, next one. Uh, let's see, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, are you there? Hello, no there. Okay, uh, so let let's see, uh, uh, Carla, Selena. Okay, strict is a negative personality straight. Okay, okay, good, excellent. So, um, guys, there we have a uh, different personality traits, uh, as you can see, like by temper, creative, critical, disorganized, eff efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, uh, impatient, uh, level head, moody, punctual, reliable, or strict. Uh, I guess so. Uh, let me see, Miley, you were asking about reliable. Reliable is like a person you can trust, uh, someone. Uh, uh, that has a personality that, that you see like like, like uh, someone that give you like confidence or something like that right so someone you can trust um so after this we're going to do we well we're gonna finish watching this video and then we're gonna work on some exercises we're gonna be uh, bring practice all these um words all these okay, Moody. okay. let's let's go ahead and, and take a look of this part now get ready to listen to four conversations then check the adjective that best describes each person listen to four conversations then check the adjective that best describes each person one a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? 
Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Okay, <laughs> what do you think is uh, this personality? Creative, forgetful, or serious? According to the information that we have been... Serious. Serious, right? Okay, good. Let's see with the conversation number two. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three. Okay, so there we have a like um, unfriendly, generous, or strange. Generous. 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 Unfriendly. Unfriendly. Why? Why unfriendly? Because the coworker isn't agradecido. No, but unfriendly doesn't mean agradecido. Unfriendly is like the opposite of friendly. Desagradecido. Desagradecido, exactamente. Desagradecido. O, o, Sorry. O, este o lo opuesto de, de, de amigable. Okay, so let's uh, continue. Let's listen to the, the number three. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. So, this one, moody, patient, or how walking? Moody. Moody. Moody, right? So, cast change like a mood. That's what moody means. Let's uh, listen to uh, conversation number four. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, and the last one? But temperate. Mm -hmm. But temperate, yes. But tempered. Good. Okay. So there we have all the answers for this exercise. We're gonna move on, and we're going to um, wanna check just the last video, then wanna review the final test. Uh, pay attention to this part. The clause with because. Let's pay attention to this video, please. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, let, let's try with that example here. So um, just, just pay attention to the last part because this is something important. And the, the part that it says that 
um, the sentences or the, the two independent sentences that use the uh, conjunctions because uh, it is an answer for uh, equations that start with why, right? So um, following that example, like the ones that we have here, let me show this part. Um, okay, here. Okay, here, yes, I, I guess not going to be like, I don't know if you can read it, the, the sentences, but I guess I, I cannot like zoom in. Um, it says, um, I couldn't be a singer because I had, uh, I have a funny voice. So I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny, uh, fu funny <laughs> voice. Guys, what do you think, what could be the questions for this sentence in order to use it in an answer? Like, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? para este, tener una respuesta como, como esta. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál podría ser una pregunta para responder, para utilizar esa oración como una respuesta? A ver. Va, les voy a ayudar con esa. Este, nosotros tenemos la oración eh, que ahí nos dice, I couldn't be a singer because I, had, uh, I have a funny voice. So the question for that sentence, will it be like, uh, why you're not a singer? Like in Spanish, ¿por qué no eres este, una cantante? So alguien me podría responder, este, yo no este, pude ser una cantante porque... Tengo una voz divertida, ¿sí? Ahora, veamos la número dos. I'd be a good teacher eh, because I'm patient. I'd be a good teacher because I'm patient. What would it be like questions in order to use that sentence as an answer? Ok, pensemos. Like in Spanish, right? Yo sería un buen este, profesor porque soy paciente. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta que se empleó para nosotros? Eh, eh, sí, que se empleó para nosotros poder utilizar esta oración como una respuesta. ¿Cuál sería? I think, would you like to be a teacher? Would you like? Mm, casi. Lo que sucede aquí es que, recordemos, y, y yo, eso lo mencionaba ella. Cuando nosotros utilizamos el because, eh, because es porque nosotros estamos respondiendo a una pregunta que inicia con... Why, uh, that we can use why. Why? Why? Uh -huh. why you think that you could be a good teacher? And maybe ah, exactly. Teacher. Yes. Why do you think that you could be a good teacher? I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. So that that's would be like the, the question that we're now uh, use in order to use this sentence for as an answer, right? So let's try note the opposite. Uh, let me go or let me move to this part. Let's try writing a sentence using this to um uh, professions, right? Uh, a good president, an actor, or an actress. That depends who write the questions. So um, the, the instructions are tell us why or why not you would or could be, so in this case, a good president or an actor or an actress. What could it be? For instance, okay, Miley, for instance, you, uh, I'm going to be asking you this. Why, um, why, a, let me use a, a good president, okay. Why would you be a good president? 
A good, a good president. Yes. Uh, well, I think I would be a good president because I'm. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'm a hard worker. <laughs> okay, good, good, <laughs> excellent, good. Uh, let's try to read um, uh, Selena. Okay, Selena, why um, you will be a, a good actress? Why you would be a good actress? Oh, in this case, what um, what you could be a good actress? <laughs> mm -hmm. Selena? Mm. I am thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, J just you have to compliment the sentence. I could be a good actress because and you have to give a reason why. Okay. I could be a good actress because I like to act. <laughs> uh, okay, I like to act. So good. Okay, let's try with uh, now Oscar. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Your question. Why you could be a good actor? I I be a good actor because I don't um I don't be uh, afraid as seriously. No tengo miedo. Sí. Okay. Afraid. To, uh, camera. Um, and I like um, uh, the uh, this scenery. Come on, uh -huh. Okay, you mean panic? No, no, I don't be panic. Scenic. Yeah, right. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that, that's what I understood. So <laughs> you don't have panic. Okay. In the scenarios, okay, good. So uh, basically, what we can answer like this is like I could be a good actor because uh, you said that uh, you um, are not afraid to be in front of a camera, and because um, you what else? What what was the last thing you said? Um, oh, you don't have panic in the scenarios. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. good. So two reasons, it's okay. We, we can use uh, two reasons in order to join three different sentences. Yeah, just the only thing we, that we have to uh, keep in mind this part, and I'm going to go back to this slide, is that uh, when we use clauses with because, uh, both sentences are gonna be an independent sentence because each one has their own uh, meaning. The only thing that we're gonna be using um, because is because we wanna add a reason why. So uh, remember that always we're gonna to have a, a, a question in order to answer in this in this way. Like I make a good journalist um, because I'm good at writing. So probably someone uh, asked to someone else uh, why X person will be a, a good journalist. Okay, so something like that, right? So we can use would or we can use could in order to um, ask a question. And the answer is gonna be like the ones that, this, uh, like the sentence that we are just seeing here in this slide. So um, now we're going to just take a look to the final test. We wanna take just this. Uh, 15 minutes in order to complete it. We want to do it as fast as we can because we have to run on that far. Okay, let me just move on to um, the final test. Um, here we have like five different uh, activities with 
some specific exercises. Um, this case, we're gonna be um, working on in the section eight, that is just the words. Section B, it's gonna be a listening part. Section C, that it's complete conversation. Section D, that is just additives. And the last one that's matching. Okay, so let's start with um, the section eight, the activity eight, choose the words. Uh, the instructions that we have here, it says choose the correct word or phrase to complete it. <clears throat> now I want you to answer these, um, okay, because we have to move on quickly. Okay, um, let's try this sentence. If you walk uh, to work, you, okay, have to, won't have to, or may have to, which is, what is, I mean, the correct answer for, for the sentence number one, not just complementing this if clause, okay? Someone? One have, have to. One have to, okay. If you want to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Number two, um, if you, a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Take travel, don't go. Take. Take. If you take a, um, a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Good. Um, number three. If you get married, you less free time. So will be, may take, or will have. Will have. Will have, okay. If you get married, you will have less free time. Uh, number four, Fiona carefully plans her date so she, she's never late uh, for appointments. She likes to be creative, punctual, or forgetful. Punctual. Punctual, good. Uh, number five, Jerry tries to help people and never says no when someone asks him for favor. He seems like in really men. Generous, generous, or generous. Sorry, generous, generous, right? Number six, Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're mo they are moody and level head, uh, hard working or bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad so tempered. let's just check this exercise, 20 points. So there we have the answer for this part. Uh, the listening part is going to be, uh, we're going to listen to an audio and, and just take a look at um, here. Instructing it says, listen to the conversation, check the correct information. Let's play this. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days? No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. Okay, so there we have the information, right? Uh, I just found out a good fact there that it's in the past, like before it, um, before computers and all these, uh, well, technologies, uh, they used to have a good handwriting. You know that? Like they practice all day uh, trying to do uh, or, or writing, like, como este, la, la, ¿Cómo se llama? La, la escritura de, de carta o de molde era como este bien, bien detallado, bien, este, bien bonito. No sé si, si, si alguno de ustedes recuerdan este, esa época en la que 
eh, la, la escritura a mano pues, se practicaba bastante. Sí, sí yo tenía teacher. libro de mi caligrafía, se llamaba. Ah, exacto, sí, ellos tenían, este, bueno, eh, en ese entonces... Ahora Pero lo, siempre me salía fea la letra. <risa> a mí también, a mí también. Este, yo este, hice como 10 de esos, um, eran unos libritos, eh, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Um, era un manual de, de, de caligrafía, tenía su nombre, no recuerdo cuál era. Era un librito. Ese, el método Palmer. Eh, yo este, hice como, como unos 5 y nunca mejoré mi letra. Pero, este, eh, bueno, mi mamá, eh, ella tiene este, una letra bien bonita y hace unos ganchos bien bonitos, porque en ese entonces practicaban bastante lo que era la escritura este, a mano. Ahora no, ahora pues, este, hasta eh, cuando escribimos en los teléfonos es horroroso porque este, no le agregamos letras, solo ponemos una letra. Es un montón de errores gramaticales que cometemos. Ya se imaginan ustedes la escritura que tenemos este, algunos de, de la época y que nos ha afectado por la, 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 la cuestión de la, de la tecnología, que no practicamos mucho. Pero eso la culpa la tiene lo del texto predictivo, no sé si alguien sabe en T9, escribí alguien en T9. <ríe> sí, correcto, correcto. Bien, este, continuemos con el número dos. Ooh, I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. Okay, there. According to Harry, if Marsha stays in her apartment, um, she may have to make a lot of repairs to it. She, she'll have more time uh, to save for a house or she won't be able to afford a big old house. She have more time to save for a house. Yes, correct. The last one. Let's listen last one. Oh, what's wrong? Guess it's not working. Repairs to it. Repairs? Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... So, so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet? Okay, there we have. So, number three. Jim's dad speaks both French and Spanish, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant or thinks, me, thinks Jim needs to take a vacation. Okay. What do you think? Likes the idea of Jim becoming a feeling attendant. Okay, a flight attendant. Good. Let's listen to the last one what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. 
And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, number four, Mark is going to be a counselor at the summer camp, has a lot of patience to work with kids, or wants to get a job at National Park. Who wants to get a job at a National Park? At the National Park, okay, good. Okay, guys, um, well, I guess this is like the section B. In the section C, we're gonna complete the conversations. We, I guess we're not going to answer these. We're gonna just check um, like the instructions and because it's, it, this is trick to decide like more easy ones. So um, just take a look at this part in the instructions. It says complete the conversation, complete the conversations, then check, then check um, the correct response. Uh, basically what we are going to do here is just take a look to um, the, the first person is gonna be um, saying something like literal eight. And uh, well, after that, I wanna just check like the chart responses in, in, for that um, sentence, right? Oh, I am, well, I do, or really, I don't mind. So basically that's what we're going to do there. Just use the chart responses that we learned in the previous class, it was yesterday. And basically that, right? So that's, that's all. Now um, in section D, um, we're going to choose the correct word. This is the, this uh, activity has to be with a topic that we're discussing today about uh, personality traits, right? Uh, there you have three different sentences that where you're going to, to identify uh, the specific uh, personality trait for each one. That's easy too. And the last part that's matching. Um, it says, match the sentences with the appropriate information. Uh, the use of because, joining two sentences, two independent sentences um, in order to give a reason um, for something, okay? Uh, this is the same topic that, we're, that we were just uh, checking tonight class. There are four sentences. So there you have, you can work with it um, uh, tonight if you haven't finished. So there are just three sentences, I mean, three exercises. Okay, guys, um, well, I'm going to stop sharing. And guys, this is the end of this model, as you know. Uh, well, for me, it's been a pleasure uh, to be here with you. Um, during this model, I hope you can, uh, you could learn something from me or, or you could practice and with well, all the activities that we have been trying eh, to, to solve during this course. Así que este, agradecerles, eh, bueno, no se sabe más adelante, tal vez los, los podríamos ver en, en algo otro este módulo. Pero este, agradecerles a, a, a ustedes por la asistencia este, que han tenido y el compromiso que han tenido este, de, de estar trabajando en todos estos ejercicios eh, que se han venido desarrollando durante las videoconferencias y los ejercicios que ustedes han trabajado en la plataforma. Este, yo los invito a que continúen aprendiendo el idioma. ¿sí? Van por un buen camino. La mayoría de ustedes tiene un este nivel bastante avanzado en el inglés, eh, tratemos de practicar, ¿sí? tratemos de utilizar el idioma, que no se nos olvide, que no se nos eh, eh, este, quede. Si tenemos alguna oportunidad de poder hablar con alguien este, que, que habla bien el idioma, eh, busquemos una forma ¿sí? para poder comunicarnos. Usemos nuestro vocabulario. No tengan miedo a practicar, no tengan este, pena de que los oigan, ¿sí? Así que este, eso es como una, una eh, sugerencia que yo les hago, ¿verdad? Para que vayamos mejorando más en el idioma. Así que eso ha sido todo por ahora, chicos. Este, eh, bueno, creo que este, para los que van a continuar con el módulo, les van a pedir en su momento 
eh, su documentación, los del de, staff de inglés corporativo se van a poner en contacto con ustedes, eh, igual como el personal de, de INSAFOR. Este, yo creo que ellos les envían directamente eh, las indicaciones del proceso a seguir para continuar. ¿De acuerdo? No sé si alguien tiene este, algún comentario, eh, algo que quiera compartir o pues una pregunta que podamos resolver ahorita antes de retirarnos. Yo, teacher, solo darle las gracias por su tiempo, ¿verdad? Por su, por su buena manera de enseñar, la paciencia. Eh, se, se nota que usted es muy profesional y que le gusta mucho esto de enseñar, ¿verdad? Gracias. Gracias porque paso a paso vamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? En cada módulo, todos los maestros que hemos tenido hasta el momento, contando con ustedes, han sido excelentes. Y cada, cada, cada aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Es algo, algo, algo muy bonito. Que, pues, en mi caso yo no lo, no lo tenía antes y ahora que estoy teniendo esa experiencia, me gusta mucho y contar con personas como ustedes, ¿verdad? Es una gran bendición y espero, teacher, de que Dios le provea mucho empleo, ¿verdad? Mucho trabajo y que siga en esta labor bonita de educar, que es, yo siento que es una, un don del cielo que se tiene. Gracias, teacher, y que Dios lo bendiga. Gracias a usted, gracias por, por eso, este, Oscar. Bendiciones a usted también. Bien, este, chicos, entonces, um, si no hay pues, ninguna pregunta... Entonces, esto sería todo. Espero verlos más adelante, probablemente ya en los niveles este, más avanzados. Así que, eh, cuídense. Bendiciones a todos. Nos vemos. Gracias, Hasta gracias. luego. Good night, teacher. Have a nice night. Blessings to all of you. Bye.